Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. I'm doing a week in my life. I'm in Athens, Georgia because I'm actually visiting my work's headquarters here. I work for Landmark Properties and it is headquartered in Athens, which is so funny because um, my boyfriend Ryan actually went to UGA. So it's just so weird coming back to Athens without him. I've only ever been here to visit him. So it's just like so weird to come alone, but it's definitely a good feeling to be familiar with the place. Um, but this week does look so great with the weather and I'm really sad because I'm supposed to be uh, doing some content for the construction team there's two properties here that are in construction so I was supposed to do that I think I think like tomorrow and the next day and it's supposed to rain so I hope that changes because it said it was gonna downpour this morning and it looks like it hasn't rained yet so Fingers crossed that I'm able to do my work. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, I'm actually a content creator for the corporate of Landmark Properties. So basically, my everyday job, I would say, is to obviously do the corporate social media. And then I also can help out with like properties, marketing materials. So if somebody needs updated photos of their site or just like video ads for Snapchat, YouTube, TikTok now like there's just so many platforms so that's kind of like the main portion of it all I also just help out with like video editing here and there so if sites just take videos on their phone and they want me to edit it I can do that too and I probably do a lot of other random little things that I can't think of right now but that's just kind of like the gist of my job so I'm here because the last time I was here was in February when I just got hired I really wasn't able to take that much content because I was training while I was here so majority of the time I was like at my computer doing like little training um, what's it called like workshops not workshops training courses yeah but this time I actually made my own itinerary and tried to like get a little bit of each department so I could like kind of have it for the future. And right when COVID hit, I'm not even gonna lie, I was like really nervous because I was like, okay, how do I fill a content calendar? And we thought it was gonna be only like a month max. So I was like, okay, like I'll try to get like photos from sites and just like pull things out of my butt. It was honestly so hard at first, just like getting content. Um, and not having me take my own content if that makes sense now that I'm back in Athens Hopefully I can get a shitload of content so I can be good for like a long time Until I have to come back and get more <laughs> the hotel I'm staying at is literally a five-minute walk to the office But they do have breakfast and it ends at 9 so I got ready and I'm gonna go head down there I have to be at work at 9 and I have an hour so I think I'm just gonna do like a little chill morning down there and kind of just like prepare my mind too. I wish the lighting was better but this is my outfit. I have this blazer on from Waif and then I have like this Zara little bodysuit tank top thing and then I have these princess poly pants which are so cute but they're supposed to have a button and it did not come with a button which is so weird so it like kind of like looks like odd right there. I might ask the people downstairs if they have a safety pin. Um, and then shoes are probably from Forever 21 like a really long time ago. And since it was raining, I just decided not to wash my hair and like not do it at all. So it's in a ponytail. And now I'm going to go pack my bag and head downstairs. I got a bagel with orange juice and I haven't had orange juice in forever. So it tasted so good. And this is my walk to the office. Very short walk, and here is inside the office, so a little modern twist, we love that. Here is my view from my desk, or my old boss's desk, obviously I don't have a desk. And then it started raining so bad, we actually had a tornado warning, pretty crazy first day back at the office. And right here I'm editing an Instagram photo to go live the same day, and here's my outfit, again, if you guys were wondering in better lighting. It is 5.46 and I'm already showered. On the way home I got soaked. <laughs> It was raining really bad today. Actually, there was a tornado warning and the rain was like going sideways. Anyways, we actually had to go down to the training room because it was like in the basement and uh, the creative team offices are right by like the glass. So we had to um, take shelter for the tornado, but nothing hit us, I don't think. But it's funny because Ryan like called me. He was like, are you okay? Like I just got a UGA text that there was a tornado. I was like, why do you still get those? That's so funny. I just ordered my dinner from Uber Eats. I haven't really eaten much today. I am so thankful because this hotel has free breakfast. So I definitely took advantage of that. And it was nice because I could take like a couple things to the office for like a snack. Um, I literally just brought like dry cereal and I definitely need to take advantage of that more tomorrow But um, yeah, I had like a bagel this morning and 
then I had that cereal. So I'm kind of hungry, but also not in a way. I don't know. It's weird. Like I was pretty busy today. Um, I just spent the day kind of getting like lifestyle headshots of like, um, I wouldn't say random people, but people like on different department teams and stuff. So like construction and marketing and all that and just doing some videos i did have to rearrange my whole itinerary pretty much because i think tomorrow and the next day i was supposed to go to two construction sites to get footage and like take photos and everything um but tomorrow and the next day is supposed to rain but actually i think on wednesday it's not supposed to rain anymore which thank god because um i'm trying to get some margs for Cinco de Mayo and that would be nice if we could like sit outside you know so it says it's only supposed to rain like today and tomorrow hoping hoping because honestly I had big plans for my Athens trip I was gonna do like a hot girl walk like down what are, what are the streets I don't even know what like I don't know the the main road and I was like gonna be active and like do all this stuff but the rain like I can't do anything <laughs> and I also don't have a car so I can't really go anywhere and get food because I was planning on just like walking to get food because my hotel is like right on the edge of downtown it's not a far walk at all I vlogged this past weekend and I don't even recall what I did this past weekend but it was just like my last few days with Ryan until we separated for two weeks. I'm being so dramatic. Definitely sad to leave, you know, your boyfriend for a while. Um, and I think I said in the last vlog, basically he's coming to Georgia for Mother's Day and I'll be at my mom's on Mother's Day, but my mom um, moved like far, kind of far from like our hometown. So I won't be able to see him and that's totally fine because whatever, but then he's staying a week after I go home. So I won't even see him for two weeks. So. I'm sad, but it's okay. Um, we're actually gonna board my dog because he was like, oh, I'll just take her home with me. But then I was like, no, I kind of want her when I get back, you know, cause I'm like, I get so lonely. And so Sophie like definitely calms me down whenever I start hearing noises. Actually, she's the one that freaks out. She will like bark. I remember this one time when Ryan was gone, she was like barking so much at the freaking fan. Whenever Ryan's home, she doesn't really bark at like random noises, but like, of course, when he's gone, she just starts barking at like any little thing she hears. And so I had to turn off the fan one night because I knew it was like the fan that was bothering her. But anyways, so she's the one that freaks out, but also she does keep me company and I can like talk to her like a friend, you know, am I weird? I don't know. Tonight I ordered Takaria Tsunami or something. I've always seen it. It's like on the main street of like all the bars and stuff. I've never been there before. It definitely looks like a kind of a chipotle bowl kind of thingy and I got like avocado rolls so that should be good and I feel like I'm gonna be so over eating out because me and Ryan have just been eating like shit this past like two weeks honestly like I tried buying groceries but it was just not in the cards like I don't know I think I just need to be like stable and home for a while and like not you know like looking forward to a trip not even looking forward to it but just like almost like oh i'm like going on a trip so i know i'm gonna eat bad the next week so why not eat bad this week you know uh it's been really really tough but i did get that bike and um i just got like approval on my sponsorship today and they loved the video which makes me so happy but yeah so i got a bike so i've been doing that recently and i really really want to get into like an actual routine like do it every single day like i did 12 3 30 because like the most fit people I know do cycling classes, so I just got my dinner delivered. It's pretty much like a steak rice bowl kind of thing. It's pretty average, but I did get those avocado rolls and those were delicious. Right now I'm just watching some vlogs while I eat, but then I have to edit my own vlog before I get on FaceTime with my friends. So I have to eat fast because I'm gonna call my friends at like 7.30 and it's like 6.30, so I have an hour to edit. And I wanna get the video up by tonight, but we'll see, maybe tomorrow is just like a better idea. Happy Tuesday, it is day two of me actually going into the office. So here is my outfit of the day. It's a dress from Grace and Lace, and it's so flattering, like my waist literally looks snatched. I'm also wearing Spanx that are like a full body, like a little tank top, and then it has shorts, and it's so, like it's amazing. It snatches me, and it's 
perfect all like post like the TikTok that I did um and it just looks so good but anyways like I said in my last vlog I feel like I never wear black anymore but this dress I just had to keep because it's just so flattering it just turned eight o'clock like I said I have to be at the office at nine so I'm gonna go downstairs and eat some breakfast kind of chill out a little bit I'm trying to think if there's something else I need to do before that well pack my bag and stuff and I um washed my hair last night I ended up just curling it because the natural hair just like looked a little too straight it was like in this weird stage um today i'm doing a lot of headshots on the brick wall for like the website um and luckily i don't want to jinx myself but i don't think it's raining right now so at least i don't have to walk in the rain but i definitely know it's gonna rain later today so probably gonna have to walk back in the rain but that's totally fine like i just don't want to walk there in the rain and like show up looking all disheveled and stuff. The first thing I do when I get into the office is obviously check my emails and then make sure I have everything in the content calendar ready to go for either Monday or Thursday posting date. Now it's time to get content. I grabbed my gimbal and my Sony a7 III and I headed outside. I just wanted to get some footage of the exterior of the office, the sign, and then I headed into the lobby. The lobby is like really, really pretty. It has this like modern twist, like I said before. Um, and it has this really cool like marble lit kind of background at the front if you kind of saw it there Then I went outside to get some footage of the courtyard Then I went to grab some lunch. I got a celsius because I was getting a little tired And now it's time to take headshots So I printed out my list of who signed up headed downstairs And this brick wall over here is where we did them and that's what they've done in the past So I just had to do that. This is my headshot. So exciting I got home early and originally I was just going to go to a Starbucks to edit, but they're not open for like seating. So I'm going to go to the place next door. Apparently there's like a boba tea place and they allow people to sit there and work. I'm going to head over there praying it's not raining. I'm just going to brave the weather because I don't really want to be stuck in my hotel for the rest of the night. So let's go downtown. It's Wednesday and it's Cinco de Mayo and I just got ready for work. I'm kind of not running late, but I would have liked to be out of the hotel room probably by now because I have to do like some notes for this call before I get started on like content taking. So I should probably get to the office a little bit earlier and I do want to stop by like the hotel breakfast though to get a bagel. Last night I went to dinner with Kelsey, who was my old boss, and then Nicole, who also works at Landmark Properties, and it was just really nice. We're actually going to get dinner again today because we're going to get Mark's for Cinco de Mayo, and I'm probably going to meet Kelsey a little earlier and just, like, go on a hot girl walk and just, you know, enjoy the nice weather because I think today should be a little bit nicer out, hoping, <laughs> um, but... It did say that there was like a little bit of rain on the on the weather, but I think by by like the time I get off work, it should be fine. Okay, my bag is packed, and now I'm just gonna head down to the breakfast area. Another day, another walk to the office. When I started getting content, one of my coworkers told me that I had a stain on my butt, and it ended up just being makeup. She said that there was club soda and that it could get out the stain, so she helped me with that. So shout out to you, Steph. Then it was time to set up the gimbal again, so I changed out my lenses, and then all of a sudden the fire alarm started going off. But this is really cool. Okay, this is the Matterport camera. I'm about to explain it in a little bit, but basically it's a 360 camera, and it makes virtual tours. This is the app on the iPad, and it's currently like trying to scan the room to make up the virtual tour. I'm in the model unit for the Mark Athens. I'm just gonna take some video footage in here i just got training on doing like matterport camera things videos i don't know it's not a video basically matterport is like this giant camera that takes like 360 views of the whole model so that we can put those like uh virtual tours on the website so that if you're in another state and you're looking to move into the mark you can see them on the website so 
I'm getting trained on that because they want me to take the camera to Texas and do like some Texas properties all I live there. I tried to get a couple of videos of it, but you guys were probably like, what the heck is that thing? I was saying that it felt like I was taking x-rays like at the dentist's office and I was like on the other side because you know how like they go and click something and then they walk out? <laughs> That's how it is because you can't like be in the picture. So you have to like step around the corner, like hide, you know, before it scans. So very interesting stuff. And now I'm going to take some videos and then I'll probably go down to the amenities and do some video footage there as well. This is some of the footage I got in the apartment and then I just headed down to the amenities. They have this really cool Athens sign, greetings from Athens, Georgia. I thought it was really cute. And then I headed to this bridge where I could see a good view of the construction happening. Then I ate lunch. I'm back home. I just got off of work. I actually had to bring the Matterport camera with me back home because I'm going to check it and take it back to Texas with me. And what else? I feel like today was more of a fun day. I definitely got to just like see more people, get to talk to more people, which honestly like I love just like meeting new people. So it's kind of fun. Um, and then tomorrow I'm actually going to two construction sites. So that shall be very interesting. I was talking to a girl in construction and I was asking like what I should wear. And she said like a loose shirt, jeans and boots. And I was like, oh God, all my jeans have rips in them. And then I don't think I could have packed boots just because my suitcase was like already at 60 pounds when I first weighed it. So I was like, boots are a no go. And I brought my Air Force Ones and then I thought about it like literally like right when I got here. I was like, that is not a smart idea because, well, I don't think it'll be too muddy tomorrow, but I was thinking like, especially when it was like raining, I was like, oh my God, my Air Force Ones are actually going to die because <laughs> they're gonna get so dirty, but it's okay because honestly, they are really dirty and I need to clean them slash, you guys already know, if you watch the vlogs, I've been on the hunt for a good replacement for my Air Force Ones, so it's time to get new like white sneakers, so maybe after this it'll give me the big push if they get dirty i asked her if the air force ones are okay like just sneakers and she was like yeah um you just have to be like aware of your surroundings and like try not to step on any nails because then we might have to get you a tetanus shot and i was like oh my god <laughs> so shall be interesting i'll keep you guys updated hopefully i don't step on any nails but that was today this lighting is like going in and out so sorry but um later today it is cinco de mayo happy cinco de mayo i am meeting up with kelsey again i met up with her last night and she was my old boss and we are gonna get some marks and nicole's coming too and so it's gonna be a fun time it's finally nice weather i can see like a peak of a blue sky and tomorrow it's supposed to be really nice so thank goodness because i thought this whole trip was just gonna be rainy and i was like Oh lordy, here we go again. <laughs> I feel like the past times I visited Athens, obviously with Ryan, I always just thought of Athens as a gloomy place because I just feel like it's always gloomy and rainy here. Maybe I just don't come at the right times, but I've definitely like spread them out so it's not like I come at the same time every year, you know? I'm gonna go change into my comfy clothes, probably throw on something like athletic wear-ish, and then probably head to downtown switching over to the iphone to vlog this is the fit cinco de mayo fit <laughs> air force one i got my urban outfitters graphic tee on and then these shorts are from abercrombie they have like a little slit at the side i really like them they're like more like a boxy boxy cut Good morning, it is Thursday. It's my last day here in Athens, which I'm kind of excited about because then I get to go home to my mom's house and just chill for the weekend. I'm checking out of the hotel this morning and today is actually a big day for construction sites. So I'm going to two construction sites. One is Retreat on Millage and then the other is the Mark Phase 2. So if you guys are in Athens, you probably know the names of them or you will know. <laughs> I'm taking a shuttle back to the airport today. So I think the bus comes on and picks me up at 5.15 at Homewood Suites. Um, so I'm just going to like store my luggage here. And then my sister's going to pick me up from the airport. And I think we're going to get something to eat when I arrive. And... Like I said, I'm going to get picked up at 5.15, but they said I would get to the Atlanta airport at like 7.20 or something, 7.25, I don't know. 
and I was like, oh my god, two freaking hours. I was thinking they probably added in like all the traffic time, but not gonna be too fun sitting in traffic, but at least I don't have to drive. Like, I could have totally rented a car, but I just really hate driving. I'd rather just sit in someone's car and not have to be like aware of my surroundings, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, and especially like traffic, Atlanta traffic is not fun. But I'm gonna go downstairs, start my day, get my breakfast, and head to work. I took a bunch more headshots. This was the last day that we were offering them because it was my last day in town. Um, and then we headed to Polly's with a couple of coworkers. Literally my favorite freaking place in Athens. Their crepe is just so good. I don't care how basic it is. Then I went to the Retreat on Millage leasing office. It's like right on the main road, which is awesome. And I saw that they were playing my video. That is literally my video footage. It was so cool to just see it in the office because um, I only ever really see it on my computer screen. Uh, and then we headed over to the construction site. So this is Retreat on Millage. We got driven around in a golf car. And then here is me taking a photo for Construction Safety Week and just like a bunch of other photos just to have for future content. This is the clubhouse. I'm really excited to just see it all finished when I come back next time. Then we went over to the Mark Phase 2 construction site and got some footage there, got some really good photos, and I was kind of hungry by then, so I got a Fruita Bowl. I've heard so many good things about this place, so I had to try it before I left, and I got on my groom shuttle, headed back to Atlanta. Look at this beautiful skyline, and then I was waiting for my sister for so long. The traffic was so bad because I like got there right at prime time. Obviously, Atlanta traffic is horrible. Here's my sister. We went to Brick and Stone in Decatur Square. These grit cakes were amazing. Like, oh my God. And then I got a burger. I kind of wanted a pot pie, but they didn't have any left. And that is it for this vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe.